Hoover, while Hoover's open the door, Michael, we're here at Neumann and they make some fantastic parts. We're going to see one in a minute, but yeah. who are they? What do they do? Yeah, Neumann and Essa is a company uh, who built uh, compressors, not only compressors, and they bought a VTL 25 2000 from Bose in uh, 2019, yeah? Yeah. Right now, we open the door, you will see it. And we're gonna see what part they're making on this machine. Now, this is not, it, you call it a VTL, but I think you're selling yourself short here. It's not just a VTL, no. it's a multitasking machine. It's so flexible. I mean, yeah. look at the part you're making. So let's walk yeah. in, come on. So the cameraman, if you walk over there, please, dude. So Michael, this is a piston. I mean, look at it, it's yeah. absolutely huge. You imagine um, a piston going in a car is like this big, right? Of course, yeah. This is a massive piston to compress with a, it goes in a massive compressor, yeah. um, and this is for like chemical engineering. This is for really important work for, for keeping us all fed, happy, healthy, and, and, and warm. But what are the difficulties in making big parts like this? Yeah, you know, always when you have the big parts, one of the first thing is to bring the parts in, and as you can see, the design of the machine, everything is open right now. So the operator, Uwe, in this case, with the crane, can bring the part in. We have this Y-axis, so bring this part, up in the front, loading and unloading is really no problem with this machine design. Yeah? Absolutely. With these big parts, it's part handling. It doesn't just become, oh, we just log a block from here to here, stick it on my VMC. Yep. You need to think about how you're bringing the parts in, especially when you've got a workshop that can barely even contain the size of this machine. You've got to get them around, somehow fit them through with fork trucks. So it's really important to make it as easy for the operators as possible. Um, but once it's on the machine, what kind of operations would you need with, I mean, you've got a round part here, but um, it's not just round parts no, you, you can no. do on this machine. Exactly. I mean, we're seeing right now this piston is a round part, but also we have some holes that we have to drill here. Yeah, There will be some milling operations later, of course, not right now, but we have the customer, Neumann and Essa, have different parts. That's a turning machine. We call it premium vertical turning machine. But we have also, as you can see, this uh, universal milling head. Yeah, look at that. You've got a five-axis milling head, exactly. which he's, really, he's just about to do Hoover before. As soon as he, he kicks us out of uh, his machine, exactly. he's going to start drilling some holes. And I think they're off-center. So it's not something you could do on a standard VTL without that no. Y-axis. What kind of value are these parts? If I can put you on the spot, Michael, yeah. would, you, would you before you put this on the machine and then after it comes off the machine? Yeah, you know, these parts, when it comes, has a high value yeah just from the casting before you start any operation of course i don't know if these parts will be have 10 or 20 hours of machining time but after the machining time of course the value is higher and it's very important that our machine has to be very precise yeah and of course we have to machine this pass in a in a short time so we need a stiff machine yeah for this customer and that's the reason why the customer choose the Bose machine with hydrostatic guideways and all the axes. yeah we have um, big guideways also we have a lot of it, um, heads on this machine uh, universal five milling axis has and 90 degrees says we have all these heads he needs for the turning operations so that the customer can set up this part in one clamping in one position before it has been two machines it was a turning machine and also a boring machine and now he reduces his cycle time, his machining time, not only because the machine is so fast, because we are able to do different process, milling, drilling, and uh, turning on one setup. Absolutely, and you, you kind of hit the nail on the head there. You've almost got two machines in one. Because you can change the head over, it saves you so much time. But what I find fascinating as well is just is the hydrostatic bearings. Now, you only get those on really high-spec machine tools. Now, why did you choose hydrostatic bearings. And if I'm right, this bed, this, this, this rotary table here is actually sat on kind of a bed of oil, here, yeah. isn't it? It is, yeah. See, Bose is well known in the market that we build very stiff and robust machine. And it is a philosophy of the company, Bose, that we have hydrostatic uh, axes and all that. The C axis, the Y axis, the X axis and the Z axis. That is our identification. Just imagine if you could do all of those operations on one machine, and that's the Boston VTL 25.